Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and today we've got an Archie Luxury SOS. Matthew Meeks has sent me an urgent email. I'll just read it to you here. And uh, he sent it through the, the YouTube messaging system, which probably isn't the best way to do it, but I'll, I'll read it to you. Hi Archie, I, uh, I sent you a message the other day. Uh, whilst I was a little inebriated, uh, now he's, he's asking, in conversation with my local jeweler, I'm looking to purchase a 40th birthday piece, being a brand new Grand Seiko spring drive. It's likely to be a keeper, so I'm not worried about resale. I know about buying retail is silly, but I'm an OCD about perfection. And I need something brand spankers. Friends have common recommended Brightling, but to be honest, I never had affinity to that brand. My top end budget would be five thousand five hundred pounds, so I went with the GS. What would be a decent haggle percentage off retail if I paid cash? Your feedback much appreciated, Matt. Matt, you're going about this the wrong way, man. You're buying a brand new watch. This is a fucking mistake. Don't buy the Grand Seiko. <coughs> brand new. That is fucking stupidity. That is fucking stupidity. You want my advice? Buy a pre-owned Rolex. Pre-owned Rolex. And if you insist on buying brand new... I tell you what I'd be buying. Number one, Omega Speedmaster Man on the Moon with the manual wine movement. Or secondly, I would be getting a Rolex Sports Steel Watch. That's what I would be doing. To buy a Seiko, fucking crazy. To buy a Breitling brand new, Fucking crazy. Discount, I'd be wanting 35 fucking percent off. 35 fucking percent. This is just such a bad move. Go on chrono24.com and have a look at what these fuckers go for. And I can tell you, they're not fucking desired watches. It's a bad move. It's a bad move. Why would you want to buy a brand new fucking Seiko Grand? Bad move. The sensible money is to buy pre-owned Rolex. That's what the sensible money is. Um, that's my uh, advice to you there fuckers that's my advice don't buy Breitling new don't buy Seiko new you're gonna buy new you're gonna be stupid enough to pay retail you're gonna be stupid enough to buy new you get an Amiga Speedmaster man on the moon or you get a steel sports Rolex end of story and even then it's not a good move my advice to you would be to go to Kenny Nguyen, Jewelers on Time, and buy a pre-owned piece. Buy pre-owned. Don't buy new. It's such a bad move. Now, I love the way <coughs> all these fuckers give me the same line. Ah, oh, I'm OCD. Ah, oh, I, I, I want it perfect. I'm not going to resell it. Well, let me say to you, when you buy one of these pieces of shit, brand new... You realize what a fuck deal it is. If only I had a dollar for every fucker who said to me, no, I'm not going to sell it, not going to sell it, and then they sell it. Fucking ludicrous. It's stupidity. It's mad. Don't fucking do it. I'm trying to tell you not to do it. And I don't know if you'll listen to me. It's a bad fucking move. It's a bad move. And before anyone says anything, yes, these are fucking sponsors. How do you think I fucking buy food, pay the mortgage, and keep the car running? I need these are sponsorship slots. Woo Dog Recordings, 
bbbdeals.com and chicagodogtrainer.com. They're fucking sponsors. I don't do shit for free. Now, fuckers, Matthew, don't buy new. Big mistake. It's a disaster. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. Just a bad move. Come on, man. It's a fucking bad move, okay? It's just not cool to waste money. It's not cool to be a dick. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. Nice one, Archie. Keep the vids rolling. We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece. We adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000. It's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best.